Hey, blessed to be with you today for our daily devotional. If you uh, have your Bibles, turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2. We're going to begin today in verse 12. 2 Timothy 2 verse 12. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for this day and the short time in your word. I do pray, God, that uh, for all those who might just be struggling to uh, press on, that you would give them the strength and the courage that they need today. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to read verse 12. I want to uh, encourage you to read verses 11 to 13 later on. And uh, this was one of those uh, faithful sayings that was said and probably sung in the church, um, in the early church. And so it, uh, all these words really do kind of collect together as uh, this doxology that was sung as God's people gathered together. Today we're just going to focus on verse 12. And it says, if we endure we shall also reign with him. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. I have to confess to you as I was uh, reading this, um, initially, uh, my mind just went to Rocky or Creed. You know, take take your pick, your version. You know, for you old people, maybe it's Rocky. Uh, for you younger folks, maybe it's Creed. And you know, those stories are so inspiring, right? I mean, it's like a person is brought to the end of themselves, right? Some situation that's just so horrendous and horrible, like anybody else would throw in the towel. Anybody else would quit. Um, but, you know, Rocky or, or Creed, they don't quit. They, they press on. They dig in. Uh, they fight through the obstacles. They overcome uh, the issue of um, adversity just by sheer willpower. And ultimately what happens is because uh, they do that, they, they end up getting the victory. You know, I mean, uh, the the world reigning welterweight championship. That's kind of how it's framed sometimes in boxing, right? The word reign is used because it expresses uh, victory. It expresses superiority over all those others that um, that the boxer was competing with. And, you know, you just don't get there. You just don't arrive there. You just don't step into that. I mean, it's a long road to be at a place where you're a, a, a world renowned professional in boxing I mean obviously it's more than just uh, what you see in the movies it's um it's a lot of endurance let's use that word today because that's our our word from uh, the bible it's a lot of endurance it means a lot of perseverance it means overcoming those moments where you just don't want to go on anymore you know you've hit your limit you've you're you're ready to tap out you don't have anything left in the tank physically or um, emotionally Maybe there's no light at the end of the tunnel. The obstacles are just so great. You can't even imagine how you're going to overcome. And yet for those who do get to that place where they're world champions, um, they, they, they find a way through it. But they don't give up. They don't throw in the towel. They don't concede. Um, they continue to press on. And I think it's an appropriate picture for us as Christians because, you know, it's not like you just uh, step into the victory. I mean, you step into the victory that Christ gave you, but it's a battle, right? I mean, it is a battle. It is filled, this journey that we're on is filled with a lot of adversity and obstacles and um, discouragement. And there are times in all of our lives where our tanks are empty. Uh, we are physically exhausted, emotionally exhausted, spiritually overcome sometimes. We feel overwhelmed because the world is constantly pushing against us. I mean, we are literally like that salmon swimming upstream. The tide, the flow of the river, the flow of the culture is against us every single day. And sometimes, you know, you can be in that place where it's like, man, you just don't really feel like you have the will to go on. You just, you want to quit. You want to give up. And I, I know people that do. I've seen people that do. And then, you know, our flesh is just so unfortunately creative that we can come up with all sorts of justifications as to why it's better for us just to give in. And that's why I think these few words by the Apostle Paul are so important. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we don't give up, if we do persevere, if, if we by his strength, remember you have everything that you, it's not a matter of your willpower. You have everything that you need to be victorious through the grace of God. Be strong in his grace. You know, Paul was saying this when he was imprisoned in Rome and he was about to die as a martyr for his faith. And there were many already who had endured to the very end. They'd endured torture and martyrdom. 
They endured um, the loss of their reputation and the loss of all of their goods and some of them the loss of their families and they'd been abandoned by their friends and by their societies, you know, I mean, and yet they endured, they pressed on. I wanna encourage you today to press on, you know, to persevere, to not give up. I don't know what word the adversary has been using against you to discourage you from taking another step in your faith. But the word for you today is endure. Take that step. Lean into God's grace. Trust that as you do, he's going to provide for what you need. Focus on the one step that is in front of you. And as God supplies you with what you need to take that step, then focus on the next step. In other words, I'm just saying one single step at a time. You know, you might be looking at this road that you're on and you might be thinking, man, it's just so long, it's so hard. How do I do this? And I say, you do it one minute at a time, right? You do it just day by day, trusting in the Lord. And as you do trust in him, you're gonna find yourself, you know, victoriously walking down this road in a way where one day you will know, you will reign with him. I want to encourage you today, don't give up, you know, don't falter or fall backwards. Step forward in faith and lean into God's grace. And as you do, trust that he's going to provide. Have a great day.